So for this activity, you are going to do a scavenger hunt all about the seven characteristics of life. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't done it already is watch the Edpuzzle video that provides uh, descriptions and definitions for each of the seven characteristics of life. And then I have here two hints that you are going to use. Um, the first is a set of pictures of different organisms. So I have here, I think, 20 something images of different plants, animals, some bacteria that um, you are going to search for those seven characteristics of life. And this is the handout you are going to be filling out for me. So you're going to look at the pictures and for each of the seven characteristics of life, you're going to find a different picture that meets or shows an example of one of the seven characteristics of life. And then you're going to First, give me a brief description of the photo, so that way I know which picture you looked at, and then explain how that photo shows the characteristics. Then, at the very end, the last thing, this is going to be the most challenging part of this activity, is you are going to find a single picture and describe how all seven of those characteristics of life are represented in that picture. I also want to give you a little Chromebook tip. Um, if you press Alt and then the left and right brackets, it will split the screen. So that way you can pull out the document that you need to complete or uh, the slides into uh, one side of the screen and have the other on the other side. That way you can have both in front of you on your screen at the same time to keep you from flipping back and forth between the tabs. I think that would probably be easiest for you. So I'm going to go through uh, the different characteristics of life that are shown in this photo as an example for what I want you to do. So now I, you know, understand you might not know what all the animals and plants are that you are looking at, or you might not totally know what's going on in the picture. That's okay. What I want you to do is ex explain how that photo meets the characteristic of life. And you can make up stories about what's going on in the picture in order to do that. So, for example, I say that this photo shows respond to stimulus because the mom, the mama owl, hears the babies chirping and is going to respond to it. So, I don't know if that's really what's happening in the picture, but you see I'm making up a story to sort of explain how this picture would fit with respond. I can see that the owls have adaptations. They are white, which will help them blend in or camouflage with snow. Now homeostasis is a tough one uh, to see in pictures, but I can, you know, say that these are, are snowy owls and they live in cold environments and the feathers um, are going to help keep them warm and keep their temperature constant. I can look at organization. They are owls. They are part of an owl population. As we can see here that we have two owls, so that makes up a population, which is one of those levels in the hierarchy. I can also say that within the owls, they are organized. They have two eyes and a beak and wings, uh, a body plan. They have organs and organ systems, and they're made of cells. 
I also see growth and development and reproduction. We have a baby owl here to show that um, reproduction happened and that baby owl looks different from the adult owl. It's got really soft, fluffy feathers and they're uh, not suitable for flight yet, but at some point that baby owl will grow and develop and its gray feathers will change to white. So in this one picture, I was able to name all seven characteristics of life. So for most of your activity, I just want you to find one picture that finds one example of the characteristics of life. But the last step is to find one really great picture with which you can describe all seven. And again, you can sort of come up with a little backstory behind the photo in order to make it fit uh, the characteristic of life. I care about your explanations, not whether or not you know what the animal is or what is going on exactly within the photo. If you have any questions, please send me an email.